what's up guys welcome back to another video in this video we'll be seeing about how to create a simple GUI using kinder and a dictionary so basically what I've created is a simple interface which when when example when a name is entered it will show you in a text box or a box field where a text can be represented and some menu options and how to how certain actions are performed within that menu so this is a code for it as you can see printer and some dictionaries which are created so step by step I'll just explain you what I've done it's pretty simple it's just combination of static dictionaries and buttons and and certain kinter widgets that's it so i'll just show you the output yep and run save so this is a gui so this is the menu bar file tools about so when i press any name example of the shape and submit it will show you that which branch this person belongs to and this is a text box this is a text box these are buttons and labels so this abhishek is already feeded into the static dictionary so when i enter any of the name so example sam will show you mechanical so this is abhishek over here and the value representing it to is information technology so when i enter into the widget enter widget sam or any of the name and click on the submit button it will show you which branch that person belongs to yes that's it that is into a text box this is the enter widget and this is a text box widget these are labels and buttons so this is a dictionary if you don't know anything about dictionaries go back and search into my previous videos of dictionaries which are link in the end of this video if you want more information on it so if I enter Jack let's see Jack computer so you find a jack will just bring up computer so this is same for all of these values so and certain other things are that when you do exit a pop-up will entry box will come and just make sure that window is exited that's a simple exit command and the next thing is that kinter help so i've just given a i've just given a command for this option in the menu cascade when i click on it we just directly will go to the terminal of python and we'll get a documentation of kinter basic uh, things of kinter from where you can get help what to use and what not to and file exit and about contributors this is a message box which i just created will show you a contributors and yep, that's it and what is the fun uh, use of clear so if i type anything over here if i press clear we'll just disappear we'll just do that So, I'll just close this out and I'll just explain you what I've done over here. So, first of all, I've just created a Kinter, imported Kinter and on the message box, created the object for Kinter, provided geometry, given a title and providing a background color, which is silver. 
to show you it will be better when I show you it a okay. option so this is the background gray and these are these are the dimensions and this is the variable which I have taken to get the variable entered in the, into the entry widget so whatever I type in the entry widget over here it will be stored in text in so I'll just go to the text entry widget so I've used text variable is equal to text in so whatever I type into the entry widget will just store into the text and help you to get into this widget it's basic thing which you need to do when you type anything into the entry and provide some binding functions to it <coughs> sorry so these are the dictionary dictionary values so I've taken an example list as a dictionary and provided certain information to it so if Abhishek belongs to information technology Sam mechanical Jack computer and various other names so if I type Abhishek into the entry widget it will just show you show me the which which branch that guy belongs to that's it nothing much but there is a twist in it this is the function for try and catch for me showing something into the box text box area so what actually is happening here is that when I click Sam or any of these options which are already in the example list dictionary any of these options and I click on it, it will show me the exact uh, reciprocal of what I have entered into the dictionary mechanical but what if the name um, if I type something like this which is not present in the dictionary what will do is that will go to the accept part of try and catch and show you sorry no info uh, uh, no information available for this person that's it if you type anything which is outside the dictionary anything will just show no info available so this is how it works whatever you type from the dictionary any legit entry like sam or anything we will show you the branch but if not sam but if not sam this is the alternative of it this is how it works so entered i'll take a variable entry just getting the value from the entry um, entry widget and this is the output box which i've taken I'll just show you down over here uh, this is how you can create an output box or text box you can say it as this is how it works and output that is a variable for text field I guess yeah yeah that's it text field output dot delete this is something like uh, that you have to use it everywhere output delete and what this represent is that initially everything is zero blank and end is something that it is necessary to use and here is a try and catch except so what will do is that it will take the entered information in the entry widget which is over here store it in it and this will check that if the information which is provided in the entry uh, widget is valid or not if i entered abhishek it will be stored in it we will check whether it's a legit information or not to show the alternative of it and provide you in the text text box that's it, it does but if not something from this uh, dictionary what will provide is that text in that is a box what will show you this no sorry no information available what is this annoying thing coming sorry 
so this is how it works it will try and catch it's like an if else statement but here try and catch try and accept is more like decent so it is this function what is what it actually does is that we we'll just take the input from the entry widget and try to check that whether the entry entered is available in the dictionary or not if not this is the output which it needs to show in the output box that's it nothing much and this function on the define clk function is binded with the button over here so the submit button this it is binded with three of this the text box the submit button and the entry widget the next thing is the and um, exit uh, exit function which are provided for this with something like this if you click exit okay it's done just need to run it again yeah that's it for exit which are binded it with the exit button which is over here exit button the command exit or you can also take it with the menu option over here i guess i've done that yeah it's similar for both this is the function and you can bind it with anything like the sub menu options or any button it's similar you don't need to worry about that these are the contributors name which i've done over here about this is an option uh, inside uh, sub menu about and this is the simple message box which are created and this is the command or what I need to show in it and in, in the message and this is I don't need this actually there is only one entry and text in for that so this clear button is the presence whatever I type sorry I need to run that again I guess save and run so what this function does is that clear whatever I type in it I need to clear it right I can either do it like this or with a button like this that's more legit right yeah that's it for the clear and for the menu as i showed in the previous video you can go and check that out too i'll just put that link at the end of it and the end of this video and so i've just created certain sub menus and labels labels all you know entries and buttons yep that's pretty much of this and this is some something really static it's like if you enter something from this we'll just show you the output enter any name we'll just show you the output submit clear then tools for kinter help i'll just show you the kinter help option what I've done here is that here yeah, the function kinter help so if you all know about the help option in Python 3 it will just provide you the information or documentation related to the particular module and you can find anything what you need to use in that program with the help of this help option I'll just show you quick Python shell uh, let see so what help does is that help sorry help so this is something like welcome to python utility and you can enter just to wait a minute let's bring back this thing up close and yeah help 
enter you enter now if i want to know something about any module example you can enter just enter and you will get every information every every bit of information of it like the classes objects and various widgets which you can particularly use in a program this is applicable for every module in python 3 so if i uh, I, I just need to clear this it's too big i'll show this thing again just need to close that right yes and you can also do like import i'll just show for you for another like numpy now just do help numpy the information about or things related to numpy will be showed using help so i just created a function which only brings the tinter methods in it that's it it's taking too time too long for this thing to come i don't know why this yeah that's pretty big i guess so it took time bigger the thing longer it takes i guess so just a function which are bind binded it with the this one yeah help this command help so when i click on it the particular function of course that's it so this is it guys for a simple interface or a g or you can call it as whatever you want it's something very static and you can't do anything if you want to do anything you can you have to change the dictionary obviously but it's not like a dynamic database or dynamic entry etc it's very static and it's just a simple g1 that's it so this is for the simple gui in the next video i'll be showing you how to create a gui with or how to create a connection between a gui and a database with different uh, methods like updating the table in the database or inserting values deleting etc etc so this is it guys this is the code for it just scroll down you can pause and watch if you want and this is the output there yeah, it's pretty static you can make of yours make and yep that's it thanks for watching this guys